This is a demo on how you can install the Ontology's bookmarklet to allow you to index the terms on any web page against the Ontology's API. First, you must log in to Cortellus Labs. Across the top of the web page, you will see a list of the Cortellus APIs. For this demo, click on the Ontologies to load the Ontologies API web page. Scroll down to the Demos area, and in the purple bar for the Ontologies bookmarklet named Entity Recognition, click the plus sign. Now you will see a screenshot of the demo, a brief description of the demo, including the APIs involved, as well as a link to the demo itself, as well as a video of the demo. Click on the demo button to open up the bookmarklet instructions page in another tab of your internet browser. This new tab includes instructions on how to install and or use the Ontology's API named entity recognition bookmarklet. From here, to install the bookmarklet, you would drag the Ontology's API NER bookmark from item number two up to the bookmarks bar of your favorite browser. If prompted uh, by the browser, click yes. This installs the bookmark to only that browser. You will need to repeat these steps for different browsers. After you've installed the bookmark, navigate your browser to a website where there's content that you would like to index. For this demo, we will use the PubMed example provided on the install page. Once your page has loaded, click the Ontologies API NER bookmark. On the top right of the web page, you will now see a login for the Ontologies APR. You just need to use the same credentials you used for the uh, Ontologies area of the Cortellus Labs website previously to log in and run the NER. The known terms will now be highlighted by the Ontologies API within the text and will be listed by color-coded categories on the right-hand side. Within the text, the associated terms will be highlighted by a particular color based on the category of the terms falls under. On the right-hand side, you will see the various categories showing in the indexed page. You can click next to each category to turn them on or off. For instance, if you click next to drugs, you will now see all of the yellow highlighting within the text removed. You would just click next to it again to turn the highlighting back on for that category. Additionally, if you hover over a category, for example, drugs, a list of drugs from the category found within the web page will now show below the category name on the right. If you click on the listed drug, a new tab opens, taking you to another demo of the Investigational Drugs drug record of the Associated Investigational Drugs API. From here, you can see more detailed information on the drug record chosen from the associated web page, including information on drug development, structure, change history, deals, patents, and sources. This is an excellent example of how you can connect the various APIs to provide more detailed information on the subject at hand, in this case, the drug record. Going back to the PubMed page, for each category listed on the right-hand side, you can connect them to the various APIs to get more information on the chosen term. 
For the purposes of this video, we will not go through each one, but they are accessible on Cortellus Labs to follow the demo on one's own. In the main contact area of the web page, you can hover over any of the color words and or phrases. This will pop up a blue box indicating the full term name as well as which category the term is originating from. For instance, if you hover over Plavix, you will see is listed as ontology drug and that is associated with the generic drug clopidogrel. You also have the option of clicking on the highlighted term, which will take you to, in this case, the demo of the investigational drugs drug record for more information. This shows you can set up the linking between the various APIs both within the content of the article, as just shown, as well as by the navigation bar on the right-hand side, as shown earlier. At the bottom of the Ontologies API NER category list is an option for other actions. From here, you can turn on or off all highlights at one time, see some t statistics on the occurrences of the Cortellus terms listed on the web page, connect to Cortellus Labs, and turn on Advanced Mode. In Advanced Mode, when you hover over one of the terms listed on the web page, more information appears in the pop-up box. For instance, if you hover over Plavix again, now in the box, you can also see the drug ID, drug synonyms, a list of how the term appears on the web page, other than as Plavix, the Jara Winkler metric showing distance between name and synonym via a range, as well as a link to other possible data via another API, in this case, the Investigational Drugs Drug Record Demo. When you're done using the Ontologies API, in ER bookmark, just close out the corresponding tab of your web browser to turn off the bookmark. As you've seen, you can use this bookmark to connect to the Ontologies API to pull together the various terms and categories present on a web page and then also use it to connect to other Cortellus APIs for more in-depth information on the associated Cortellus terms found on a web page.